Hello everybody, my name is Aceface and welcome back to the T0 to T6 Abyss series. We're here again in the T4 Abyss, the everlasting T4 Abyss that is never going to end. Uh, unfortunately, the previous episode that we had actually got deleted. Uh, or not deleted, but it was never recorded. And the reason was because I it was very unfortunate for me because I had a very good discussion with you guys about uh, different tiers of Abyss and different styles of T0 to T6, potential T0 to T6 Abyss series you could possibly have. And I thought it was just a very interesting discussion. And unfortunately, it was lost because I forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> it happens like that sometimes. It happens like that sometimes. I know it. Maybe for you guys, it sounds like a completely obvious thing. Obviously, you're supposed to hit record. But I thought I had hit it, but I did not. So it happens sometimes. So instead, I'm going to discuss with you guys what I was into the previous episode then in this episode. So we have then done another site that you haven't seen. Uh, it was not a particularly amazing site. It was Rogue Drone Battleship. It had uh, Leshaks and Rogue Drones. So they, it was pretty easy, straightforward site. Um, the T0 to T6 B series that we've got, uh, I wanted to discuss about it because we have got a T0 to T6 Abyss uh, series that in my opinion or like my philosophy was to then get a series of ships that is able to be then trained with as little skills as possible to be able to get to, T's, uh, to T6 Abyss. That was my like um, mindset when I went into this and there still is. Um, I wanted to make sure that all the ships are able to then be able to sort of have as much skills as that are overlapping as possible and we can see this quite obvious uh, when we start out then with the punisher uses lasers then we go into the retribution still a mars ship uses lasers we go on to the zealot uses lasers everything uses lasers a mar um, armor tanking so as little overlapping skills are needed to be trained as possible uh, so that's why i was thinking okay what's the easiest way to get to t6 abyss but at the same time, even though this requires very little skills, or like not very little skills, you still need to have skills, but they, I want to have the least amount of like skill overlap. Um, you can have other strategies that I've been thinking about as well, because even though my, fo my fits try to focus on the least amount of skills required as possible, I think that I've been too, perhaps too focused on that. I'm still going to be going all through with this. Like I'm thinking of going with the Zealot and everything. I'm not saying that I'm going to make any changes, but it just had me thinking that you could perhaps have a T0 to T6 Abyss uh, series of ships that could perhaps be maybe more skill intensive, but focus a bit more on profit. So say like maybe the Punisher is good for T0, I'd say, but maybe for T1 or T2, perhaps the Retribution is not always the best. The Retribution is also a very good ship for that, but maybe for T3 and up, Zella is not the best idea to use. Perhaps there could be other filaments to do, especially when it comes to T4, where the electrical sites are really expensive, where you have 7 million isk uh, a site. Other types of filaments, in my opinion, are a lot better. Uh, you can do darks, you can do firestorms, a lot better profit margin you can get here. Uh, and as well, when it comes to the T5s and the T6s, you can get better sites or better filaments to do than the T5 or T6 electrics. They are pretty expensive. The T6 electrics can go up to, I think, 40 or 50 million isk. So in terms of profitability, these fits are maybe not the best to do for T6. Uh, what I mean by this is that maybe you could then use your T6 exotic. That's a very good alternative. And Gila's are really good at doing those sites. Less is cost, I think, as well. And uh, filaments cost less. And you can even do T6 gammas, which is even better. Uh, you can do T5, maybe Firestorms. Really better profit margins there. And especially when it comes to the T4, you can get a lot better profit margins there with the T4 Darks and T4 Firestorms. Gila's and Cerberus is really good at that. And from my perspective, this is very, um, uh, perhaps it is not the best idea actually, because I was thinking, you know, oh, it takes a really long time to train all the skills, which it does. But the way I play EVE Online is actually quite uh, different than how I ex was thinking when it comes to these filaments, because often when I do this T0 to T6 uh, series, I do max one or two episodes a week. I don't usually do more than two episodes a week. Uh, max you sometimes I don't even do one a week so maybe one or two a week sometimes even less and then in each episode I maybe do one sometimes two filaments but maybe most of the time I do one filament um, so that means that I'm actually spending very little time in fact grinding the isk so in my situation here getting to t6 is not being limited by me having the lack of skills it is rather me 
being limited by the lack of ISK. And I think that's something to take into consideration when you want to have a series of ships that wants to get you to the highest tier of BIS as quick as possible. Um, in my case, then, it probably would have been better suited to have more ISK require, like ISK uh, efficient ships that are maybe able to cost as little ISK as possible and give as much ISK as possible as quickly as possible, uh, but however, have very high skill requirements. That probably suits me a lot better because then I can still wait a long time, which I anyway will do because I don't play super often in terms of this series. And then uh, I will be, have, be able to log back in, have the very good efficient fits, but also require a lot of skills to be able to use and i think this not only suits me but also probably would then suit other people who then have a very busy lifestyle maybe they're not able to play so much in their real life uh, so that's one way to think about it then if you're someone who plays a lot you're someone who plays a lot and you do have a lot of time to spend grinding then i can imagine say i was to do this every day every other day or something like that i probably would have been at t6 a long time ago uh, the thing is though i don't especially when it comes to this uh, series i do do other things in the game but this is not the only thing i do in the game uh, i could do in my old days of grinding abyss every day uh, i would do like many sites every single day like uh, maybe i could do sometimes 10 sites a day so a lot big difference in terms of play time and what i do uh, compared to before so in that way i think that you could have different types of t0 to t6 abyss series one you can have is maybe like trying to get with as little or as quick in terms of the isk making as possible when you don't account for the skills required uh, to get to t6 and then one is that okay you don't care about the you just want to train as little skills as possible to be able to get to t6 abyss which is what we've done here and i think it's good that we follow through with this just make it done but i think that to be honest, when it comes to my style of gameplay, it would have been better suited maybe to do something like maybe focusing on perhaps the Gila. Because I think if we were to use a Gila, we would have been able to do some Firestorms soon. We, we would have by this time be able to do Firestorms. And Firestorms would have given us a lot better uh, edge in terms of getting uh, uh, to the next tier of Abyss. And I think that it could also maybe be me blinded also with the feeling that it's a little bit slow to get to the last tier of it. This isn't just that I'm not able to play so much. You need to do a lot of filaments if only you're doing a filaments as your only game to get to T6. It's just the way it is. It's a high tier PvE. It requires a lot of grinding. But probably for me it would have been better to go with like a Cerberus or Gila Hawk style. I probably would have done. I probably would have started out in perhaps a Hawk or a Kestrel. And then go to a Hawk and then after that I would have maybe gone to then perhaps uh, the Cerberus for T4 Darks, and maybe even a Gila for Firestorm, but I'm not sure. And then I would have then gone over to a Gila for like, T5 and uh, T6. I think that would have been a very good uh, battle. Oh, look at our drones are getting absolutely shattered here. I need to recall those boys. I want them to get wrecked here. But that's what I was maybe going into in this lost uh, episode of the T0 to T6 Super Series. I think it's something good to uh, take into account when you're trying to plan your way through EVE Online. You know, do you have more free time well you don't have so much free time if you don't then you can focus on maximizing getting the good skills and utilizing them because that's what i usually do nowadays when i make abyss fits because my character has trained pretty much all skills so i try to min max based on max skills and i think that probably suits a lot of people as well instead of grinding the isk focus on getting those good skills i think that would be a lot better way for my style of gameplay to go ahead with a T0 to T6 series. But now I know. I didn't know that before, but now I know. Uh, we probably should deploy this MTU here. Pack right MTU. Abyss of loot. We've got only 6 million. That's crap. Do not want that kind of loot. But it's just the way it is. Sometimes you get good loot. Sometimes you get bad loot in the Abyss. Today seems to be a pretty bad day. But we're soon going to be able to get to the next tier of Abyss filament. I think you in fact think that I might have enough ISK to buy the T4 Firestone fit actually. I might actually have it. Depends on a little bit the module prices and what I get in terms of the buy and sell orders, but I think we might have enough money actually. It will be fun to test out. Uh, I've not done a whole lot of testing, so it could end in a miserable uh, tragedy, but I think that it will be fun to do. Take out this Lucid Fire Watcher. There we go, good. And then this one here. I wonder if it would be possible to get a zealot that's fully blinked out to be able to do the T5 firestorm. I wonder if it's possible. 
uh, and it's still not as blinged as maybe the T6. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. T6, 7.5, T5, 2.5. And this has got pretty expensive implants here. Some of these implants could definitely be cheaper now, actually. Don't need to have so stupidly expensive implants. Like the 06, really so expensive. T6, cheap booster as well. Uh, I think this is actually the wrong fit. But this could be fun to do here. Would like to do this. Get the T5 fit. Oh, nice. Perfect. That's exactly what we want right there. We want those juicy filament drops that change the whole game. Oh, my drone's getting absolutely wrecked. There we go. Take care of this one here. Re recall the drones. Oh, no. We got drone casualty. Lost another drone. We already lost one drone, I think, here. Now we've lost a second one. Wreck this guy. And have we brought in the MTU? Yes, perfect. Next room. Charybdis Tyrannos. We can start attacking these drifter cruisers on the way here. Get the drones on Charybdis. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. Get the drones, most of the drones on the Charybdis actually. And then we can move one of the drones over here. Entanglement ones I want to take out fast. Like that. And then we get one drone move over here. Great. I hope they don't get destroyed that there's like maybe a medium even automata express in range of Charybdis out. It's going to be a bit annoying. Oh, annoying ammo. Scorch. There we go. And now we can maybe get a bit closer here to Charybdis. On flag. Now we get a bit closer here. Can't really use fully use the con flag yet. But soon maybe. They're really keeping their sweet range, those drifter crews. Though they're going for my drones. That's what's going on here. Don't want them to go for my drones. Snipe him before he's able to get there. Take him out fast. So we can't destroy our drones. There we go. Good. And now we can change to conflagration. Great. There we go, and we want to probably also take out that buy that of cash actually. And we can even move the MTU to this side of the gate. Unfortunately, I can't reach Caribs now, otherwise, I would have liked to attack him. Oh no, we lost another drone. We're just losing drones left, right, and center here. Let's move in. Thankfully, these drones are pretty cheap, but still very annoying. Move in a little bit closer here. To the side a little bit. And then deploy that there. Great. Perfect. And there we go for this one here. Caribdis. They all seem to want to attack my drone. Oh no. No, 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 no. Look at that. My oh, drones suddenly lost all their shields. That's not what we want to see there. We've been wasting a lot of time actually on this site. It's because we've been it's because we've been waiting for all the MTUs or the extraction nodes to be able to pull in the loot. Or not the extraction nodes to pull in the loot, the MTUs to pull in all the loot. That's what I'm what am I saying? Okay, great. And we'll take out the drones now and now we can attack again. Go for the conf flag. We want to have that conf flag going on. Get this here. Uh, we can keep a range of 10 kilometers or something like that. Get the full DPS. What DPS do we have here? 739. Pretty much perfect skills for the Zealot here. I've got heavy pulse laser specialization to level uh, 5. Destroy this guy here. Uh, 
and then go for the Parkra MTU. Perfect. Now for the cruisers. You know, I'm surprised actually in terms of Nullsec because I've been playing quite a bit of Nullsec recently. You maybe see my videos I'm on about that. You can actually earn quite a bit of his karating. Uh, I used to think the Abyssal was the best way to earn Isk, and it is still one of the best ways to earn Isk in terms of T6 especially, but mid-tier, like T4, T5, like that kind of tier of ship, you can do ratting and get a lot of Isk as well. Move there underneath slightly, recall those drones a little bit. Great, so we did another T4 site. I wanted to talk to you guys about different types of T0 to T6 of fit series, different types of fit series. I uh, hope you learned something new from that. I just wanted to uh, show another run. We need to show every single run. Everything needs to be documented here. Unless I forget to uh, hit record, then it's not documented. But I tried to at least explain to you guys what's happened. We did not get any amazing look or like maybe in 2030. Oh! Like 20 million is or something like that. Decent isk, decent isk. I was saying before, remember I was saying before, like, oh, this is going to be a really bad run. Not so at all good. Two of these T5 electrics makes all the difference. 69 million isk, great. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's enough for now. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.